I'm Joshua Bardwell, and I just learned something today, something a little bit sad, a reason why you might not want to do the Tyrannus 5dB external antenna mod. Sometime back I showed you guys how to mod your Tyrannus to use an external antenna, uh, and that's a mod that many people have done, I know, because you've been commenting and asking me questions about it and telling me about it. And there's been a theme that has sort of come out that I've wondered if I should share. And I've just had an experience today that has led me to believe that I should share the theme. The theme is, uh, number one, people saying, I did the mod. My SWR is fine, but I have reduced range, and I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why either. Hmm. And the other theme is people saying, I did the mod, and then two weeks later or a month later, my radio board burned out. It stopped working. Uh, and that is the experience that I have just had, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, about two weeks ago, I started having random fail-safes for no reason I could figure out. And I thought, well, gosh, maybe it's just the copter has got a problem. But I had it on two different copters, and that's not good. Um, so I had a, a kind of a hunch. And I just went to fly, uh, and... When I turned the Tyrannus on, it said antenna error, antenna fault, whatever the error message is it gives you when you don't have the antenna installed. And I definitely did have the antenna installed. The antenna was not in any way defective. And uh, the, the I'm, I haven't opened the radio up, but I'm gonna, I don't think the, the, the cable has come desoldered magically. No, I think what has happened is that somehow my radio module has been damaged. And I don't know how. I don't know how. Uh, maybe the uh, impedance of the antenna and the cable was wrong in some way. That means that the amplifier burned out. Just like if you run a video transmitter with no antenna on it and it burns out, right? Maybe that is a thing that slowly happened over time and, and damaged the module. I've also heard, uh, talked to some people who know about electronics and they say that the, uh, the final amplifier stage uh, on the radio module may be very susceptible to static damage and it's possible that when you do the repair, when you do the mod, you, you if you're not very, very careful, like if, do you wear an anti-static strip strap whenever you work on your, your electronics? Most of us don't, I think. Then you may damage the radio module with by static and that doesn't necessarily show up as a single catastrophic failure. It may show up as slow performance degradation over time, eventually resulting in a failure. Hmm. The, the short version is that I don't know, but I do feel like there's enough smoke here that there may be fire. And I want to warn you guys, if you decide to do this, number one, <laughs> some percentage of people who do this mod aren't good enough at soldering and they, they just destroy the board because they, they can't they can't solder to something that small. And if that might be you, maybe not maybe not but don't do this mod. But the other thing is that even if you do the mod, and even if everything seems right, and everything seemed right for me, my signal my SWR was zero to one. I never got warnings. I was using, you know, everything was correct as far as I could tell. And yet months later, here I am with a bad I can't fly I can't fly today. I wanted to fly today. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, if you if uh, yeah, if you don't feel absolutely compelled to do this mod, maybe you don't do it. Or if you do do it, then you're taking a chance on perhaps smoking your board. And all I can do is is let you know, right? When I when I did the mod, I had no reason to believe there was anything wrong with it as long as it was done correctly. And now that I do, all I can do is let you know. So thanks for watching, and happy flying, but not for me because I don't have the radio anymore to get a new radio. Bye-bye.